What's up, guys? Paul from the SysAdmin channel bringing you the best tips and tools for your SysAdmin journey. In this channel, we cover a lot of how-tos as well as troubleshooting tips and tricks. So if you're new, consider subscribing. So throughout my SysAdmin career, there's always been a need to add groups as local administrators, and I found that the easiest way to do that is to do it through group policy. So in this video, that's exactly what I'll show you how to do. So here I am in my Windows 2012 domain controller. And the first thing we're going to want to do is open up Active Directory Users and Computers. And we're going to want to create a group specifically for our local administrator server group. So I'll go ahead and create new group. And um, for the name, I'll call it local administrator dash servers. And we're not going to worry about the group type or the group scope. So we can click OK to here. And then we're going to want to add our users into that group. So I'll go ahead and click on members click on the add and then here we're going to add my P Contreras group and as well as a, a D Jones user that I have so I'll click on add again D Jones check name check OK and then we're done with the adding users into that specific group so we're good here we can click OK to that and the next thing we're going to want to do is open up group policy management console so we can actually create and configure the GPO so here I am in group policy objects and from here we can right click and select new to create a new GPO. We're going to call this GPO local administrators dash server which is the same that we set our uh, active directory group to. So with our new GPO created we'll go ahead and head on over to the left side here and right click the newly created group policy object and select edit to edit the policy. And once we have the policy open we'll go to computer configuration policies. Windows settings, security settings, restricted groups, and then we'll go ahead and right click on the right hand side and add a new group. Once there, we'll go ahead and click browse so we can search for the local administrators dash servers group. So here I'm just gonna type in local admin and check name. And sure enough, it did resolve successfully. So after that's done, we'll go ahead and click okay. And then here it is extremely important that you select this group as a member of. So the reason you don't want to select the top one is because if you do, you might put yourself in a world of hurt. So what exactly does that mean? Well, that means that if you add users to that top one, it's going to remove all users and groups you apply the policy on. So that's something you're definitely going to need to take note on. All right, so moving on, we'll go ahead and click add here and then browse. And then here we want to type in administrators with an S. Make sure you have the S, that way it uses the built-in administrators. From there, we can click OK twice, click Apply, and OK. And once we got that done, we'll go ahead and close out of the policy editor. And now that we're back in our policy management, we'll go ahead and click on Details, on the Details tab. For the GPO status, we'll go ahead and set it to User Configuration Settings Disabled. Uh, this is just because we don't have any user settings, so I personally like to have that uh, disabled. Next up, we'll head over to the Settings tab, and then here we'll just go ahead and expand or show all of the layers that we have. So if you look here under the Restricted Groups, it does show the AD Local Administrators that server as a member of the built-in administrators. And the next thing we're going to want to do is link that GPO so it actually gets applied to the servers. So under my servers OU, I'll select the local administrators dash servers group. We'll go ahead and select OK to make sure it gets applied. And now let's head over to our file server, which is pack-fso1. We'll go ahead and open up a computer management to see the current local admins that are on there. And then we'll apply the GPO. So here I'm on my uh, computer management. We'll go ahead and select uh, local users and groups and then administrators. And here you can see that I do not have my local administrators dash servers as an admin. So like I said, we'll open up the command prompt. We'll type in a GP updates forward slash force. Make sure the policy applies. And now if we close this administrator properties window and open it up again, we can see that the local administrators dash server is in fact a member of the local admin group for this server and any other servers that are under that OU. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for my video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Once again, this is Paul from the SysAdmin channel, signing out.